I'm going to try really hard to not show my emotion in this next few minutes. Once in a while, there, there's a person that comes along in your life that changes it. And they change it because they stand for something. They don't compromise. They believe in something better, and you see it. They are, in effect, your personal shining city on the hill. If you know anything about me or my history, you know that I spent a lot of my life as, as a miserable and callous guy. I know, you're stunned. But longtime listeners of my show, if they're being honest, will tell you that they've seen a great change come over me uh, over the years. Some of them don't like it because I don't call people fatheads as much as I used to. Believe me, this is a calm version of Glenn Beck. I certainly have my moments where the old me shows up, but on balance, I'm a cuddly kitten in comparison to the old me. That is in large part due to one guy. When I want to call somebody a pinhead or a fathead, I uh, think of him and how he would handle the situation because I wanted to be more like him. He stood for something elevated, something transcended. And <clears throat> you could just simplify what he believed in just by saying he believed in be kind to others, be a better person. I realize that I'm a long way away from that. I think almost everybody is. Last night, this gentleman, Gordon B. Hinckley, passed away. He was 97 years old. You probably don't even know who he is unless you share my faith. He was the head of my church. Obviously, he was an old man, 97. He lived a great life, most of which was just spent inspiring people to be better in a quiet way. As he grew older and he became sick, I knew that last night would eventually come. I wondered how I would react. Last night when I heard a soft knock on my bedroom door, it was my daughter Mary. She told me the news that Gordon B. Hinckley had passed away. I surprised myself. I wasn't sad. It was a warm feeling. I just thought of a great man finally being reunited with his sweet, sweet wife. One day when I, it was actually the first time I met Larry King, he asked me, he said, Gordon B. Hinckley, one of the nicest men I've ever met. Amazing guy. Have you ever met him, Glenn? I told him no. He very nicely offered to introduce me to him, and I declined. I didn't want to feel like I was a fan going to meet a celebrity. But now I wish I would have taken, up, taken him up on that offer. Just so I could have shaken his hand and said, thank you. I didn't know the man, but I watched his example. Whether you're in my faith or another faith or no faith at all, we could learn a lot just by watching good examples from time to time. From New York, good night.